There's this awesome Easter egg within Nothing OS that lets you sync up any song or video you start playing with your Glyph interface. As you can see, it literally starts flashing to the beat of the sound and works pretty well too. To enable it, you must go into the phone app, dial any random set of numbers, and create a new contact. You need to name that contact Alakazam and save it. Make sure you don't misspell it though because it may not end up working. Afterward, head into the settings choose Glyph Interface and assign a random ringtone to that contact. Once you do that, you will uncover a new feature within the Glyph Interface menu called Music Visualization. It's pretty awesome, and I'm not even sure why it's hidden, but there you go. Another neat exclusive trick that comes with Nothing OS and that most people overlook is a gesture that lets you bring up the notifications by simply swiping down on the nav bar. It's a small addition, but extremely useful when using the phone with just one hand. To enable it, go to the settings, system, gesture, enable one-handed mode, and switch it to show notifications. Another amazing gesture is that you can open any app into a floating window by simply swiping it up to the top of the screen, starting from the nav bar. Then you can open any other app, move the window around, tap it to enlarge it, or swipe down on its bottom edge to full screen it again. The best part is that it should already be enabled by default within the latest versions of Nothing OS. I'm pretty sure though that they got this idea from Oppo or OnePlus because ColorOS and OxygenOS have had this feature for a solid minute. Still, I thought it was worth mentioning for those who didn't know that this feature existed. Now let's say you're on Twitter and Instagram and want to save a post. You can do what everyone else does and take a basic screenshot or be a bit fancier and long press the top of the post with three fingers and swipe down to the bottom of it to instantly crop and capture the shot. Brings more focus to the post and doesn't require that much effort. Unfortunately, it's only a feature available within Nothing's Android 14 beta build, but if you're on this beta, you can enable it by returning to the gesture menu within the settings. Select the screenshot gesture and enable the three finger swipe. And while I'm talking about screenshots, can we just take a moment to appreciate how nothing has included a trash can right next to the screenshot preview to let you quickly delete it? It completely saved my gallery from being filled with a ton of accidental screenshots. More smartphones need to have this feature pre-enabled. And yes, we get it Samsung users, One UI has this feature too. Nothing OS also lets you clone apps, which big deal, right? Most phones do that nowadays, but nothing takes it a step further by letting you duplicate any app you downloaded, and I mean any. That includes games as well. So for example, I cloned Clash of Clans to be able to access my main account on one app, and my backup account on another. Free me of the hassle of needing to log in and out. To find it, look up cloned apps in the settings. What's also really useful is that nothing lets you lock apps behind a fingerprint or passcode. And when you lock an app, you can have it stay locked even while it's sitting in the recents page. That way, no wandering eyes can see what's inside. It's definitely a feature that I wish more phones had. Just search up App Locker within the settings and you should be able to find it. Now even though nothing sells headphones, they are still generous enough to add extra support for AirPod users. It'll show you the AirPods icon and battery info within the settings. It's not a huge change, but it's still better than what most other Androids do to help you out if you own an Apple device. To find it, go into the settings, experimental features, and enable AirPod support. I also thought it was nice that Nothing OS made it really easy to switch between SIM cards if you have two inside your phone. You just tap on the internet tile in the quick settings and select the other data network to make the switch. It's that easy. 
I'm not sure if other phones have this easy switch feature. I personally live in America, so I don't really have a need to use two SIM cards, but I can still see how this is really useful. This next one is pretty random, but if you're on the latest Android 14 build on nothing OS, you can add the infamous glass filter to any wallpaper you're trying to apply, whether it's a picture you took or you downloaded from the web, just to get into that nothing spirit. And honestly, the look isn't half that bad. Also, if you like some awesome, fantastic walls that fit that nothing style, we created some amazing ones on our Patreon and even made some nothing inspired widgets that look great on any phone. The nothing phones are also one of the few devices that let you add widgets to the lock screen. And I'm always jealous of this because lock screen widgets used to be a native feature that every Android had up until it got randomly removed with the release of Android 5.0 Lollipop. Luckily, there are rumors that Google may bring it back in the future, but if you pick up a nothing phone, you don't need to wait because they gave us what we wanted. Now granted, it is similar to iOS where they limit the number of widgets you can add and you can't use any custom ones from third-party apps. However, nothing still gives you some great looking options. They have several clocks, photos, a compass, quick settings, and weather widgets. Plus, they all fit that monochrome dotted look, which I really dig. And to take things even further, they nicely transition the widgets to the always on display. It's clean as hell. And since I'm on the topic of widgets, nothing has made theirs very aesthetically pleasing. It's almost like getting a breath fresh of air, because unlike its competitors, they managed to make a style that no one has ever seen before, and somehow, it still looks terrific. I mean, no matter what widgets or icons I use, the home screen always follows the same theme and looks great. That's pretty rare, because some smartphones and apps usually come with outdated looking widgets that are just plain ugly. Plus, with some widgets, nothing has really thought outside the box. Like, I love using their quick settings widget. I can't begin to tell you how great it is to just quickly toggle most OS settings straight from the home screen, and I also can't believe that most phones aren't doing this. Plus, in December, nothing announced that they'll be releasing even more widgets that look awesome and stunning, so I'm super excited about that. Like, they're planning to release a new pedometer widget that has a neat animation of a little man walking, and then your steps data when you swipe down. Another one for the music player, which I believe lets you easily change the song by just swiping right or left on it. And a screen time widget, which turns red whenever you go over your limits. Very creative. Another exclusive feature that I'm jealous of whenever I switch phones is that on Nothing OS, you can customize the folders to give them a different style and add a cover to it with a dotted icon or emoji. The cover is a great idea because not only does it let you add some fun looking icons to the home screen, but it's also like having a curtain that hides all the apps inside that folder. So unless someone taps on that folder, they'll never know what you got going on. Plus, they may not even suspect that it's a folder because it'll just look like any other regular app on your home screen when you don't enlarge it. Pretty sneaky. And just so you know, folders aren't the only thing you can enlarge. Nothing OS also lets you enlarge any icons in your home screen. So if you have specific apps that you constantly use, this is a great way to make them easier to spot right when you unlock the phone. Now in terms of apps, Nothing phones mostly come packed with Google ones, which I love because no one likes bloatware, but they made a few of their own which are exclusive to their devices, and I'm a huge fan of their looks. They have a weather app, a voice recorder, an app for their Ear 1 and Ear 2 headphones, and an upcoming Nothing Chats app that lets you get into that iOS blue bubble cult, but with some sketchy security risks. Aside from that one, I love all the apps that Nothing has made. Again, it mostly has to do with their design language. Something about that minimalistic monochrome theme with dotted text and icons really catches the eye. And I wish I could carry some of these apps over to my other Androids. This next one isn't really an exclusive feature, but I'm sure some of you will appreciate that nothing has made it pretty easy to unlock the bootloader or root any of their devices. In fact, being that they're trying to be a brand of the people, I'm sure they even support it without actually saying it. Otherwise, they would have killed the ability to unlock the bootloader or block some features like how some other OEMs have done with their devices. So if you're big on modding and flashing, the Nothing phones are a fantastic choice and have a healthy rooting community on XDA forums. 
Of course, it wouldn't be a nothing phone if I didn't mention those awesome exclusive lighting features for the glyph interface on the back. If you've seen any nothing phone reviews in the past, you probably already know what most of them are. You get some custom ringtones that have lights that match the sound, plus you can create your own ringtones within the Composer app. When charging the phone, you can quickly see how much battery the phone has, even by just slightly moving it. Have a Google Assistant feedback. You can set the rightmost light strip as a dedicated notifier whenever you receive a notification for specific apps. And my personal favorite is that you can have it behave as a progress tracker. For example, you can set a timer and visually watch the countdown. Have it show you your volume level even when you begin to change it. And it even connects to some third-party apps like Uber or Zomato uh, to show you how far your order is. They're all spectacular features you will most likely never find on any other phone, which is pretty cool. And it's pretty surprising to see how many exclusive features the Nothing Phones have, even after only being around for two years. Click this video right here to see my detailed review of the latest Nothing Phone 2. Drop a thumbs up if you learned something new from this video, and thanks so much for sticking to the end. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!